Good morning everyone. Today I'm doing something completely different. I'm explaining how Sonar works. I have my Garmin set up and I also have GoPro cameras in the water. Now I'm using traditional and traditional does not pick up small fish. Now I've got some fish showing up on my Garmin and hopefully they will now come in front of my cameras. That's my sonar beam is only reaching there. Garmin does not have a very wide beam and also I am in shallow waters. I'm only in about 20 feet of water. Now the fish are showing up on my Garmin so we'll give them a chance and we hope they will start showing up on my cameras. This is one of the problems with a fish finder. It has a 3D scope but it only shows up in 2D so you don't really know where the fish are they could be on the other side I don't know I have no idea so what's happening is by the time your sonar picks up the fish and marks it on your screen you have already passed the fish or else the fish have already swam past you so fishing the way I'm showing you and throwing in ground baits is going to help you keep the fish in the same place we'll just give it a chance now up here they come they've come for my ground bait and they started showing up now if you were fishing you wouldn't know which side to throw your lines in or which side of the boat you're going to fish from so the best thing to do is use your garmin and at the same time keep throwing in ground bait like i'm doing here now I'm sat there watching live feed TV and I am seeing everything that's happening on the bottom. Just look at those fish. There's hundreds of them. Now the Garmin is marking the depth on, on the fish symbol. You have 3 meters, 3 meters, 4 meters. That's the depth of the fish. Remember I am only in 5 meters of water. But give it some time now. You see? The fish are showing up on my Garmin, but they're not in front of the cameras because they're on the other side of the beam. Now later on in my next video, I'll show you how beam widths work and how the angle works. This is quite interesting this is. Oh look, some more fish are coming in. Wow, look at that nice fish there, brilliant. Wow, it's a beauty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this guys gives you an idea how Garmin is working and it does pick up the fish the only problem is that once it starts marking the fish they've already passed through your sonar and they're not there anymore so keep throwing in ground bait to keep the fish where they are but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and have a nice day Just look at that picture. Look at that contrast and definition. Brilliant, fantastic. Sit back, I want to show you what I've done here. Hello there guys, we're back to Garmin again. And sometimes when you're out on your boat, you start switching between clear view and traditional. And you're trying to work out, oh, which one is better? Which one's gonna give me a better picture? Well, you can have the best of both. All you got to do is go to customize home screen here. Click the arrow button. Rearrange add. What the hell is add? Well, add combinations. Yes, you can add a combination. You can have traditional plus clear view traditional plus flasher and you can just mix and match whatever you want as long as it's not already on the screen if you already got it there it's going to say this is already there now I've done that and what I've done is I've made two combinations I've put my plotter with my traditional here set up and I've also made a combination 
of having my traditional and my clear view on my screen at the same time you can lay these out one and two or else you can split the screen longwise I prefer it like this because it gives you a more wider picture than what you've actually got now look at that look how nice that's coming up here okay I'm using amber brilliant brilliant great great this is now you may be thinking oh but when I have to change the settings I've got to go back into clear view and sort everything from out there and it's a lot of hassle and this that and the other no you don't press your menu button and here you've got the settings for your traditional and your clear view you don't have to go back to your main settings see it's giving you range auto gain medium chirp oh let's change the frequency here let's go up to 2 kilohertz 200 kilohertz go back and I've changed you see the same with here I'm using chirp 455 kilohertz on my clear view clear view menu it's right there oh we don't have to go back into settings it's really simple contrast these are important you contrast in that all right I want to change my color scheme I'm on amber um I don't know let's try I've never tried moss before let's see what it looks like oh and there's my moss now that's looking a bit too bright so let's adjust that same again clear view menu brightness all right we're going to go down Oop, wrong button again always i always do that see see i'm getting a darker shade here going down wow that's lovely i love that look at that don't use this this will give you what you don't want adjust the settings manually now look at that layout there a nice clear image of your bottom and a nice clear image of your top screen now what's important is some colors give a lot of interference more than others so you gotta really pick and choose to get the best ones now look at this look how good this screen is looking look at that look at that wow i'm on a sandy bottom and this time of the year we get a lot of grass growing seaweed i mean now look at those spikes beautiful clear picture let me get a bit closer that look at that brilliant absolutely fantastic well that's all for today guys i hope you've enjoyed this hope you learned this you got any questions just mark in the comments wow that is absolutely amazing i just wish there was some fish about because i haven't caught anything today bye